Thanks for joining New Jersey News Network. I'm Kimberly Jade and it's great to have you with us. For the first time, a person in New Jersey has been placed into mandatory quarantine over the threat of the coronavirus. The state health department confirmed Wednesday morning. Authorities say the individual who is not a New Jersey resident flew into Newark Liberty International Airport yesterday from China. The individual was transported to a location in Essex County and will be monitored for any symptoms for the next 14 days. The state health department added that the risk of the coronavirus transmission in New Jersey residents remains low. And last night was a historic State of the Union address delivered by President Donald Trump. The president is one of two in modern times to address the nation after being impeached. At least one member of the New Jersey delegation walked out of the House chamber in protest of the president. Congressman Bill Pasquale was live tweeting as he walked out, but it was a special night for one Jersey girl, Haley Seals, the oldest daughter of Detective Joe Seals, who was gunned down in a Jersey City shootout in December. She was the guest of Congressman Tom Malinowski. At the end of the president's speech, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi made national headlines when she put the president's speech tore it up. Speaker Pelosi will be visiting New Jersey the end of February. Body cameras for police officers. It's a controversial topic nationwide, and just this week, a local police department has implemented its use. Jennifer Marin spoke to folks in town who shared their opinion on the matter. The officers here at the Lacey Township Police Department are now wearing body cameras every day. Now, Chief Michael DeBella tells me that this is all to maintain a positive relationship between the community and the officers. As of February 4th, all uniformed sergeants and police officers assigned to the patrol division will be wearing the cameras. Here's how it'll work. Officers will put on the body camera that's been assigned to them at the beginning of their shift. It'll be worn on their outermost garment, typically the mid-exterior of their uniform shirt. All interactions with the public when carrying out official duties will be recorded. However, officers do tell me that they are allowed to turn their cameras off after their interactions are complete. Any encounter, um, any call for service mm -hmm. will um, activate it. And at it. the end of the call, we shut it off. Here's why Chief DeBella says these cameras will benefit both officers and the community. This helps to create trust between the community and the police, increases accountability for officers, increases community confidence in the police department, protects our police officers and the public from false claims. Folks who heard about the new program feel this will help protect officers. A person that I know, he was a cop, if he had a camera on, Whatever went down, okay, it would have showed the true truth of it all. That he was completely innocent, okay. Without the camera, it was up for speculation. But others like Andy say social injustice is a major issue, and these cameras will help maintain transparency. I feel like it'll keep track of like situations a lot better for the people, you know. Um, simple parking violations like you hear about kids, you know, simple... Uh, pullovers for a ticket turn into like something more corrupt, more violent, so it'll definitely uh, serve a lot of justice for them. Now at the end of each officer's shift, they'll return their camera to their charging station and all recorded footage will be automatically downloaded and saved. For now, reporting in Lacey Township, Jennifer Mara, New Jersey News Network. It's National Weather Person Day. Let's check in with our Nor'easter Nick on the weather for the remainder of the week. It is dull. It is Boring. It is just nasty out there today, and I wish I could just like wave a magic wand and make it go away, but unfortunately, that's just not doable. We got high pressure up to our north, and you might get in on some pokes of sunshine mainly to the north and east, the northernmost section of North Jersey. But aside from that, you got the clouds locked in. Our boundary is down to the south. This is going to start to lift to the north as we push ahead into the next uh, several hours. Tonight, especially after midnight, we're going to watch some wintry precip get into our northwest counties. And we could pick up a quarter of an inch to a half of an inch of ice. This is going to continue to push to the north, and then rain will be the concern tomorrow morning for South Jersey. Tomorrow night, that moves up into our neck of the woods, and we could pick up a hefty amount of rain. So don't put that wet weather gear away anytime soon. When I come back, we'll talk totals. And when it's all out of here, we'll also take a peek at your seven-day forecast in just a bit. And before we end off, today is National Signing Day. Good luck to all of those athletes. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kimberly Jade.